Let's look at a similar problem where we are asked to find the range, the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation of a uh, set of sample data. Um, of course, this is from an MSL, my stat lab type problem. The first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to click to copy, and I'm going to say make tab delimited copy. I'm going to try this. You say, well, okay, I'm going to use the same worksheet here that I used on a previous problem, see if it will let me paste. I'm going to pick this first open white cell in Minitab under C2, right click, and say paste cells. This one, when I made a tab delimited copy, it worked just fine. I'm going to label this, uh, I'm just going to label, label it data 2. Just another set of data, again, just so I can tell the difference. Now, what we're looking for here was what the mean, the range, the standard deviation, and the variance. All right, we're going to go back to Stat, Basic Statistics, Display Descriptive Statistics. Now, notice in Minitab, it thinks I want to do it on the first column again. I don't, so I'm just going to. I'm going to backspace there, and I'm going to double-click on Data 2. Oops, I did it twice. Let's get rid of the second one. Need that little tick mark there. Then I'm going to click Statistics. I want the mean. I want the variance. So the mean, the variance. I don't think I need the median or the mode. I needed uh, mean variance standard deviation. They don't get in the range. Then I'll say OK. And then click OK. And notice here are all my answers. All right, I've got the mean, the standard deviation, the variance, the range. Let's see if those are correct. Okay, let's see. It said my range, which is the maximum minus the minimum. Oh, goodness, I don't see the Yeah, there's the range, 15. I'm just going to type 15. Hit Enter. Ooh, fantastic. The mean, X bar. You'll see an X bar, and X bar is simply the mean of a sample. If it were the mean of a population, it would be the Greek letter M, or mu. But it says round to the nearest tenth. It's 11.22, but rounded to the nearest tenth, it'll be 11.2. Let's try that. Nice work. All right. And S squared is the variance of a set of sample data. If it were a population, it would be the Greek S or a sigma. So let's see what the variance is. 24.94. So 24.9 rounded to, to the nearest tenth. Let's try that. Excellent. S is simply the standard deviation of, of a sample. If it were the standard deviation of a population, it would be a sigma. Let's try this. Uh, standard deviation was 4.99. So actually, I'm going to have to round that up to 5.0. See if it count it right. Absolutely well done, young man. So we nailed that one. Minitab makes these so easy. Hope this helped you out some.